In this video, I will show you how I use this printer to make a replacement animation set of puppets, a mechanism to articulate and lead a sun, and a simulation of how Leica's paranormal eyes worked. This is a UV printer and I'm amazed by this technology and the printing process. It's so magical. The first thing that we wanted to try out with this printer is if it was possible to make replacement animation puppets with it. And because we are making a short short film in a multi-layer table with light and glass uh, we did these puppets here in the studio they are that thin and that small and we made a lot of them a whole bunch of them with a lot of uh, postures and doing a lot of different things and I wanted to know if it was possible to make such a small part uh, with detail and if it was fast to print and yes it's super fast because it's just a few layers and you can place a lot of them in a, in a single print so we made in one day like 150 puppets of those and in I think it was like 5 to 8 uh, prints in different poses doing different things and different scales and yeah they are super super nice they are quite take a look they are quite precise and yeah it's super awesome Something I wanted to try for a long time now was the mechanism inside the eyes of Paranorman from Leica and it has been a long time now thinking if it was something that was possible for us to, to try to emulate and that was the perfect opportunity to, to try it and to have on my hands the mechanism and feel how the eye moves, if it works, if not. If, What's the possibilities of that? And, and the mechanism itself, it's a universal join. So it's uh, the eye pivots in two axes, allowing uh, 
to move around one point so at the end you have a lot of range of movement and and it's controlled like for two hinges at, at the end and yeah seems interesting i draw the the kind of eye based off one single picture that i found on the internet and and with a huge scale to see actually how it looks and how it feels a lot bigger than the reality of, of the puppet and it's quite interesting it moves so nice but i feel that it's with the tools that i have here at least with this machine i feel that it's impossible to make something at the scale of a puppet that means a lot smaller and it should be a, long, a lot stronger than this resin is <laughs> Having the printer here in the studio allows me to quickly draw something in the computer if I need it, send it to the printer and test if it works, if not make some changes and reprint it, 
Also, I can make many parts and send it all together in the same print and it will take the same amount of time if, if, if it's the same amount of layers because the time that it takes to make its layer is it's what matters, not the, the amount of things that it has in the layer. So that's a huge benefit because you can print a lot of parts in the same amount of time. So I needed to make some parts to, to hold a puppet and to, to make a cage that allows uh, a pivot for, for, for the puppet to be animatable. And yeah, so I did the drawing, I printed, we assembled all together. Uh, I made uh, a, a custom part uh, for the joints. And, and yeah, in one morning we had a fully operational puppet ready to rock in the in the set in the multi-layer table and that's a huge benefit of having this kind of uh, 3d printers around you that that it's a cool tool to to prototype uh, to make single parts to make small batches of parts <laughs> I hope you like this experimentation process, making parts that we actually need in 3D printing for our animations, for our studio. Now it's your time to play with a 3D printer. It doesn't matter if it's a filament printer, a UV resin printer, whatever you can afford, get your hands on one of those because it's so fun to draw something in a virtual world, print it in the reality and have it in your hands play with it and have fun. I hope you got new ideas here, like making replacement animation parts or making props for your set 
and then paint them or whatever mechanical devices you can make uh, gears or rugs whatever you need make sure to subscribe leave a like or a comment and see you in the next one